So I guess the initial like conversation started at the end of last year, and it well like at first it was so eye opening that it never really sank in, and then the closer and closer we got to that signing date, it just like was starting to hit more and more. It was never really a real feeling like of something new until those boards, new boots, new gear all came in. It was like, dang, something's really happening now. I'm Gavin Stuckey and I just signed with The Good Force and I couldn't be more happy. Hey, what up, say? One time for the hometown, I got love for it, it's real. Yeah. Two times for the haters, man, cause I notice how the shit feel. Three times for my family, dog, cause the shit done paid our bills. Whoa. And I get four times my net worth from a year ago with no deals. Did it all by myself, I don't need nothing. Draw the hundred songs, I'ma keep coming. Remember times they wouldn't reply, now they all hit me like they need something. Labels hit me, now they see something, but I told them all, you ain't seen nothing. I've been putting on the work, and if you ain't song with me, you ain't read nothing. Like ever since I can remember, it's been like wakeboarding because my parents both rode like before I was born behind the boat in the 90s, you know. So it's always just been in my mind. Like it's been on the TV, you know, we've seen photos of my dad's behind the boat and it's like, it's always just been there. And then eventually once we were old enough, I think it was, it was just game on. Like being a Grom here in Orlando is something special because you grew up with guys like Yonel Cohen and Julian Cohen, Phil Sovin, Dom Hernler, all these guys there every day. And it's like you see the lifestyle they're living and you just, you just want to do that. Did it switch that you were like, wait, I can actually start to hang with these pros? Yeah, so it was, it's funny because it's actually at the Liquid Force Park Pro and there was three stops. And the first stop we rode in the Groms division and Trent won the, the Groms division and I came second. And at the second stop, I won the Groms division and Trent fell second. And at the third stop, we were like, we got nothing to lose. Like, let's go ride with the big dogs. And uh, we were up in Atlanta, and my first ever pro heat, I got like stacked up with Rafterome, and I was like, I was like, dude, I could not be more psyching right now. And I, I like remember calling my dad right when the heats came out, and I like, I was like, yo, dad, the heats just came out. He's like, oh yeah, who you got? I was like, William Clang and Rafterome, and he's like, he just started laughing, and he was like, he was like, just be you, dude, like just go out there and like have fun, and that's what I did, and I, I won the heat, and I'm like. I think I was 13 at the time. I don't think I ever rode a Grom contest after that. Having like the whole family at the cable is like, it's special because you don't really see it too often. And being able to like ride with your mom or with your dad, like carry her in front, carry her behind, it's, it's a feeling that not many people get to experience and it's so different, it's pretty crazy. I'd say my number one inspiration is riding with my brother because he pushes me so much, especially with his kickers and how far his tricks have come on the kickers. You gotta keep up with someone. So living in the same house with him and seeing all of his trophies kind of lights a fire in me. It gets me excited to go ride and go compete. I want to take him down, you know? <laughs> I wanted to kind of separate myself and bring up my name because for so long we brought up the Stucky name together um, all these years, like growing up together. And um, I think it was really, vital part of like a career to reach our both of us reach our full potential that we had to kind of break ourselves away and you know i i rode with runix for 11 years and then like and the thought of riding for a new brand never crossed my mind and it was it was just something that just kind of came in phone call or text conversation you know and it kind of just came in and really opened my eyes and uh, to all the possibilities and opportunities that it could offer. It's crazy like how different the brands are. So that's, it's gonna provide like so much more options and stuff. Like their presence over in Europe was something that really 
uh, guided me and really attracted me to them. And they're so big over there. And it, it's something that I saw an opportunity with to grow here, being their number one North American guy. It was something that I would be able to really grow with the brand. here post session out of the dubs we're at tower four hangouts barbecues every friday i love it got the community behind me next generation grom got all the parents these are just my people we out here have a good time every friday so we get to it yeah it's like all about the community and that's a just like super important part in the upbringing of like riders riding with your friends in the community because that's what really pushes you if someone else falls behind the kicker, it gives you a reason to try something new. And you can like try something, walk back to the dock with them, or even like you're gonna land it and then you got a new trick. So it's like, it's best. You know, the progression, the contest, the new tricks, the stomping that, that run that you've been working all week on and all these things, riding with your friends, your family, playing follow the leader. If you put all this in a bubble, you just wanna do it better next time and that's, what draws you back to do it again, and that truly is what pulls you.